Hey folks, I'm going to do a very quick video on how to fix your park indent switch. Um, the switch that tells the car that you're in park when you go forward like that. Um, an easy way to tell if it's bad is if you're rolling through and you see go to reverse and then you go to park and the park light does not come on, then it's probably this little micro switch which is under here. Uh, this is remarkably easy. It really doesn't need much for tools. You literally just uh, pull, pull, open your cap like that, pull up a little bit here, and then this is gonna be hard to hold the camera, but you're gonna put like both hands on either side here uh, and pull up. I'm gonna put it in neutral, so I put it in neutral. So you're gonna put one hand here and one hand here and then pull out this way, kind of tip it up and then pull out. And it just pops right out and you just push this off to the side here and this is what you're looking at now uh, you see the shifter boot here there's four little legs that go down and connect it um, onto the cover you just kind of squeeze together and twist and it should pop right out I just kind of there you go just pulled up a little bit and this whole boot comes up rotate it 90 degrees to get access and then i'm going to go all the way back now this is what you're looking at i'm gonna see if i can put the light on no okay um okay so here's the selector switch but this is the only part that matters right here this little metal tab um when you go forward and put the car into park here what happens is it pushes up on that tab and indicates that to the car. Oh, no, mine's not working, but there we go. Okay, indicates that the park's on, right? And the way it does that is this little tab in here needs to go up as the cam comes in. Let's see if I can do it here. So that little white thing um, pushes in and pops up on that little metal tab. So what it's not working, what's happening is that little metal tab there, right here, is not coming up far enough to make contact. Um, and I saw somewhere that you could just re-bend that little metal tab, which is what I did. The first time I did it, I did it wrong. I bent it up towards the camera, um, thinking like it would make uh, better contact, but it's actually the opposite way. Um, I just used a little 45 pick and um, pushed it down 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 here and bent it down so that when the cam comes in it makes better contact and the cam pushes it up properly um, and that's all there is to it and then you just put it back together you put it forward there oh i gotta be like in reverse you know uh, very simple come on there we go i'm on the four posts pop this back in this part goes first and then down on the outside. There we are, done. Five minutes, one little tiny tool, that's all you need. Uh, so if your car is giving you weird alarms like the door chimes are going off when you stop the car and put it in park and you open the door, um, make sure that the park is actually showing yellow. Um, if it is not, it's probably that little switch right underneath there. Good luck guys.